Another day in quarantine. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I've been coping with anxiety during quarantine, doing things that make me happy and feel good, and also different tools that I've been using that really just help calm me down. So I hope you find this video helpful. So enjoy this montage of me getting ready for my very relaxed day on the couch. So obviously we're all going through some shiz right now. Everyone in the world pretty much has the same kind of emotions to what's going on right now. Whether that's fear, anxiety, depression, sadness, creative inspiration, like I don't know. I feel like there are maybe like five to 10 emotions that the entire world is feeling very much right now. So no matter what anyone's circumstances are, just remember to practice kindness. So that's what this video is mainly gonna be, like how I try to reduce my anxiety in quarantine. So hopefully it can help you guys, no matter what kind of circumstances you are in right now, because I know the whole world pretty much is feeling the same way. I don't know about you, but the one thing I can always count on to get me out of bed is knowing that there is a fresh pot of coffee waiting for me downstairs. For me, I didn't realize how sad I was before quarantine happened because I wasn't using my creative outlets. I wasn't doing the things that were making me happy. I was going to work, I was going to the gym, I was just going to bed and it was such a routine and I personally don't do very well in routine. So being home and being able to really dive deep into the things that bring me so much fulfillment has been making my soul so much happier and I have the anxiety of not being able to feel this same way going back. My favorite way to start every day is to grab a blanket and sit on my porch, no matter if it's rainy or sunny out. Today it was raining and I absolutely love that. And I just grab my journal and I script. So that basically means I write out how I want my life to look and I basically just manifest certain things and it's just the most relaxing thing. I sit out there with my cup of coffee and listen to the birds and I'll just grab my blanket and get cozy when I'm all done. Normally I do about three pages and it just makes my day so much better. So can anyone else relate to this? The Grow Fit. We have socks from Canada, super cozy. Then H&M sweatpants that have a hole in the butt. And then we have a Gap oversized sweatshirt from the thrift store. And of course, a messy bun to top it all off. But we stay in classy with the earrings. So because I have such bad anxiety right now, I haven't been able to really notice when I'm hungry. So I tend to eat breakfast really late and that definitely throws off my entire day. So I just try to make sure that I'm eating a filling breakfast and these are the Kodiak protein waffles and they are so good and they keep me full for hours maybe to a fault but they're so good so i try to make sure that i keep my room tidy during this time if nothing else just making my bed but does anyone else have like 20 comforters on their bed or is that just me about a week ago i started to find it to be a little bit more difficult to find motivation to work out but yeah normally i would be doing pvolve about five days a week and pvolve is my go-to platform to work out on and i'll have it linked in the description box too i talk more about it in an upcoming video where i'm doing my next weight loss update because if you didn't know i am going through like a get fit healthy lifestyle change but i really like how pvolve is very much just simple, small movements. It definitely makes me connect back to my breath, kind of like yoga. So I'm really happy I'm gonna be doing that right now and I'll show you a few clips of what I'm doing. So this workout was sped up to about 2000. So you can imagine how slow I'm actually doing this. And these are just a few clips of the entire thing. It was actually about an hour, but if you are looking for a really good workout program, that's not too insane. <laughs> Definitely recommend Pevolve. It has really transformed my body so far. I feel so much better now that I did that. Um, it's raining outside and 
I was gonna go for a walk, but I actually really like hearing the sounds of the rain and the birds singing. So I'm gonna do a little Shavasana right now. Maybe like five minutes just to calm down from that workout. So I have really been trying to continue to just do my makeup um, during quarantine, mainly because it makes me feel really good um, and it's fun for me to do. So like I said, the reason that I'm having anxiety is it probably not the same as a lot of people. I know a lot of people are having a really hard time being home, but I just feel it in a really weird way that I, I feel very alone in because I had not had any time to devote to my YouTube channel. And if you didn't know, I had an Etsy shop that I had started and I was really loving doing that, but I had to stop just because I didn't have the time to really maintain it and still continue to do YouTube and work. So it was just really hard. And now I'm still working, but I just feel like I have so much more time because I'm home and the gym is closed and I just feel like I'm doing all the things that I love and it makes me so happy. So my anxiety comes from like, how do I maintain this happiness once life goes back to normal? I'm m making videos again, I feel happy. My dream would be to be able to do this full time. So it's just really sad that like, I have so much time to be doing it and I just know that it's not gonna be like this anymore but i'm going to try and make changes so that i can continue to do this and make videos so i feel like this quarantine has been a blessing in disguise for me to really sit with my feelings and sit with what's making me upset and i i didn't even realize i was so unhappy so i'm curious to know if you guys are going through any sort of realizations or epiphanies as well let me know in the comments down below because we are able to make changes in this time so i actually wanted to show you guys this bracelet it has crystals on it and we love crystals here on this channel <laughs> So this is the bracelet. It has rhodochrosite, rhodonite, and pink tourmaline on it. It's from the company I Am Aromatherapy Bracelet. Basically what you do is you go onto their website and you take a quiz. It essentially matches you with the right bracelet for something you wanna manifest in your life. But I wanted to talk about it because it's interesting. When I first took the quiz, I got abundance because I, I'm all about trying to like manifest abundance and financial prosperity. But then as quarantine went on a few weeks, I realized that money isn't as important as love and self-love and just having love in general in your life and doing the things you love. So I ended up retaking the quiz and got the love bracelet bracelets and the best part in my opinion is this love oil blend so what you do is you just take a little tiny tiny drop and place it on the lava beads and then throughout the day you're just going to get these like whiffs of this oil blend and it's going to remind you to think of that affirmation to manifest whatever it is that your bracelets intentions are set for and every single morning i script i write journal entries for like the law of attraction and i just think that this is so powerful because it's gonna remind me of all of the things I wrote that morning. But I'm so hungry, I'm gonna go eat. See, this is what I was talking about. It's already five o'clock. Do I eat dinner? <laughs> I guess, I guess so. If you wanna know what the best salad recipe is, this is it. Take any sort of veggie burger. I used a kale burger. You can also use Beyond Beef, it's super good. But you're gonna need a buttload of kale. Then you're gonna take garlic powder, nutritional yeast, and cayenne pepper. Add that all to the salad and then take olive oil and mix it all with your hands. Bon appetit! So today is Sunday but normally I work throughout the week so I do try to make sure that I do at least a variation of all of these things each and every day. It is important for me to have like some sort of structure to my day even though I really hate routine. So every day I try to meditate just for a few minutes and my version of meditating is not like mindfulness kind of meditating. The way I like to do it is 
I just like to close my eyes and I envision that my physical body is attached to my higher self and I just get really quiet in my mind and I kind of release like all my worries I ask questions so I'm able to take any situation and in that moment I'm really able to see it from the higher point of view so that's just how I like to meditate it really helps me calm down which in my mind is really helpful when I have anxiety about the future so I already feel so much better I feel like I can take a deep breath and I just want to say I am thinking of you guys I am wishing you so well my heart is with all of you who are sick or your family members are sick and I'm just sending you so many well wishes and everyone else please stay safe please stay healthy do your part to help protect others if you're really struggling with being stuck inside again just remember it's only temporary it will end and if you're like me <laughs> i don't know if anyone else is and you're struggling with what lies back on the other side you can always change your reality nothing is permanent you can always change what isn't working so keep that in mind i love you guys so much be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you don't miss out on any videos and follow me on instagram at court violetta and i'll see you guys in my next video bye